What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to give you five drills that we love to do for acceleration for our athletes. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We post new videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays. So make sure you subscribe to catch all of them. And also make sure to comment um, down below videos you want in the future, questions you have, whatever you got, let us know down below. Hopefully you enjoy. All right, so the first exercise we're doing, moving pogos, you guys probably could have guessed you got some variation of pogos. So I love this exercise for numerous reasons, which I've gone over, but if we're talking just specifically for acceleration, it really works on um, building up that foot ankle complex strength. So a big part of acceleration is having a really strong foot ankle complex. So, and then also go single leg. This is usually the routine we have everyone go through, um, double, single, alternating. But so having a strong foot ankle complex. So the reason we wanna do that is as we're accelerating, we wanna drive through the ball of that foot, keeping that, um, keeping that heel up off the ground, sort of, right? We don't want our heel to collapse as we're accelerating. We want it to stay high, so we're just driving, not losing any energy or any force by going negatively into the ground, right? We want all positive force going into the ground to propel us forward. So we have to have a strong foot ankle complex, allowing us to just drive and push that force in so it can bounce us out going forward. Horizontal force production is huge for acceleration. Number two, we're going skips for height. I love skips, skips in general, skips for distance, skips for height, but I specifically chose skips for height because it really works on, whoa, because it really works on um, force production, fast force production, AKA power, right? So driving up off the ground, pushing through the foot, getting triple extension, right? Notice his foot as he skips up, right? He got gets that full full balance. Knee drives up. It goes from, <laughs> you smack your head. It goes, uh, your knee goes from the normal knee spot, obviously. Drives it forward. That's a big thing for acceleration, and that knee punching forward. So this is a great exercise for uh, force production. Number three, we're going alternating toe taps. So this is a recent one that I've kind of included in our acceleration training and I absolutely love it. So usually I'll start with a 12 inch and a six inch. I'll do both. The first one we're doing alternating toe taps on the 12, uh, somewhat casually, right? Just not extremely fast, just kind of getting the hang of it. So here just bounce back and forth and okay, make sure you use your arms, drive off the ball of the foot, try to keep that heel off the ground on the foot that's on the ground, like I talked about during moving pogos. Right when we're accelerating, we wanna go from here to here so we don't lose any speed with that negative force going into the ground, right? We don't wanna be running and collapse all the time. So we're gonna start with the 12 inch and we're gonna be going, and then we're gonna move to the six inch and we're gonna go as fast as we can. So we're here, as fast as we can, just get your toes up. So another thing that's creating is a low heel recovery. So we go from here to a low step over the ankle, knee up, right? A lot of people when they're accelerating, they go from here to here, right? That heel to butt, that's more top speed, that quick cycle. When it comes to acceleration, we want low. We want to step over the, uh, the ankle, not the knee. Step over the ankle and just drive that knee just like this. So by doing these, it kind of creates that movement pattern from here to here, just that low step into a knee drive. So I love doing those two progressions. Ooh, I'm out of breath. Number four, we got sled drive. This is one of the absolute best exercises for acceleration mechanics. If you look at the nature and the movement pattern that it forces your body into when you're doing sled, it mimics acceleration, right? You have an, an, um, a very good lean, low heel recovery, you're driving that knee, full extension in the back. So this is a great way to practice acceleration, practice horizontal force production, the mechanics, the angles, you get a good shin angle, right? Wall drill is another great exercise to do, but if you wanna make it a little bit more dynamic where they actually have to be moving forward, this is the way that I love to do it. And another thing is if you look at the mechanics of Spencer, like I mentioned, when it comes to doing sled, and then Spencer's pause, when it comes to, <laughs> When it comes to doing sled, right, there's a lot of people who do it incorrectly. Right here, this kind of frozen picture, that's exactly how it should look. Full extension in the back, that knee drive, chest through, right? Do not hike your butt up, do not have full extended arms when you're doing this for acceleration training. 
good angles. I promise if you load this thing up, get your good angles, drive it. This is going to help transfer to acceleration so well. Look at that. All right, number five, we're doing a single leg broad jump. So we have banded and regular. So single leg broad jumps, super awesome for getting horizontal force production. So just going on one, just jumping forward, making sure that once again, you don't let that heel collapse. You stay nice and stiff, right? You're not collapsing every single time you jump. Everything takes you forward. You want it to be a little lofty, but right, everything is just driving you forward. Once again, really great for that low heel recover, getting down and um, out, kind of like that piston motion versus the cycle. So we're gonna show you guys those. And then I love banded just to add some resistance through the hips, it really forces the lean. With single leg broads, you can kind of get away with being a little bit more upright, but when you add the band, it forces you to lean a little bit more and to get your hips through. A big problem with acceleration is people like to bend at the hip or at their waist versus getting their hips through to create the lean. So attaching the band forces your hips through while forcing that horizontal force production with the knee drive. 